This is a Fender Telecaster electric guitar. Now, we're not going to spend our time on the history of the guitar. Um, we're just going to talk about the components and uh, what it all does and how these things work together so you can make sweet music with it over time. So, we start at the top. It is a living being. Most guitars end up with a name. This one, by the way, is Lenora. Uh, she's recently been named it. She spoke to me and told me the other night that her name is Lenora. Anyway, this is the headstock right here. It is the head of the guitar. As we move down, we have the neck, kind of like a giraffe, nice and long. We have the body. So the three main components, body, neck, headstock. As obviously you can see, there are multiple other things attached to them. As we start at the top, each one of these is called a tuning peg. And this would be a tuning knob and they run through and this is what attaches to the strings and ad adjust the pitch of the strings so that they sound uh, the way that you would like them to sound. We have right here, this is called the nut. The nut is where the string makes a break or a string break between the tuners and uh, the uh, fretboard in the neck to make it nice and flat and even all the way down uh, until you get to the other attachment point which is right down here known as the bridge now this uh, this one in particular uh, is a through bridge which means that the strings come all the way through the body and then come over to uh, these guys here and these are your individual little uh, bridge adjustment devices this will raise and lower the uh, height of the string and they can also move forward and backwards to allow for uh, tuning and intonation uh, we'll talk about that uh, coming up shortly uh, this being an electric guitar the sound is transmitted through the strings and picked up through these two things which are called pickups they are magnets um, which then uh, are wrapped uh, in a coiled fashion with uh, very thin copper wire. The more wraps there are, the more conduction that there happens to be, uh, which allows for the electrical signal to be transmitted through this, converted uh, or transmitted in electrical form through uh, this little guy here, which is your guitar jack or your input jack, through the cord into the amplifier, which then converts that electrical signal into the sound that is made on the guitar. Essentially the way that is described, magic. I don't know exactly how that all happens, just kind of like how sound ends up on a CD or on a, on a record or something like that. It's magic at that point. Anyway, uh, for far smarter than I. But in doing these, uh, guitars are set up uh, with different pickups for different tonal qualities, different sounds that you can uh, get out of them. I'll, I'll go over that here shortly. Um, and then how you adjust or how you select which one you're going to use. Now, depending on how your guitar is put together, you will have two either two main areas of pickup some have three some only have one now the one that we don't if it's only got the one area then we don't have to worry about this guy which is the uh, selector switch this switch allows you when it's this is a is has two pickups so this will be a three position three position pickup switch so one for just the one all the way to the back that is referred to as the bridge pickup because it's closest to the bridge and this one up front is known as the neck pickup because it is closest to the neck. So if we select this one back here, we'll go all the way back. If we want the one at the neck, we'll go all the way forward. If we want them to do them all both at the same time, we'll then go to the one in the middle. Okay, now the fun part, the sound. Excuse me while I bang my microphone. Not while I kiss the sky, that's Jimi Hendrix. So the sound part, uh, the other piece of equipment that we I will always tell you that you need when you were playing a six string guitar, it is generally forbidden or verboten when you're playing a bass guitar, but that would be a guitar pick. Um, guitar, bass guitar should be played with your fingers. Guitars such as this are generally played with a pick. So your pick will allow you to uh, identify or you know, locate the strings and make sound with them. So on this guitar, there is a volume knob and a tone knob. I have them both turned to the zero position at this point. First, what I'm going to do is the volume. Uh, the general rule of thumb is uh, volume always goes all the way up because 
I mean, it's an electric guitar, so I mean, come on now. So, volume goes all the way up. This allows us to now make sound. Now, you hear it sounds a little muddy, and that's where our tone knob comes in. So, we will make this, and we can adjust a little bit, and it kind of cleans it up, and it's, the more we open it up, the more treble or the more clarity comes through with it so depending on the sound you're trying to make you can adjust your tonal knob to meet your ears happiness now the other way as we talked about is with the selector switch so this is in the bridge pickup now this bridge pickup is generally called the treble pickup as you will hear it's the higher range higher notes it's a little more tinny it's a little more crisp uh, as it comes through, this is a, really the ideal one for distortion. Um, I'll just kick that over just for a second. It gives it a nice little crunchy sound because distortion in and of itself is kind of bassy, bassy and a little heavier on its own. So the combination of the uh, higher end pickup really balances it out nicely and gives it a nice clean but crunchy sound. So that same chord I was just playing. Oops, let me go to my little switchy thing. So we have this very nice nice kind of little crunchy but we'll get to that stuff later so that is our bridge pick or pardon me our, that is our bridge pickup now we will go all the way forward to the rhythm pickup on a gibson guitar or the neck pickup on this guitar which is all the way forward and it gives it a little bassier little um warmer sound if you will as opposed to the one back here at the bridge now a nice way to keep them together obviously is to turn them both on at the same time that would be our middle selection here and it kind of gives you a little bit of the higher end but it keeps that nice warm bassy quality some depending on your pickup setup will be much more differentiated than this one happens to be at this point in time uh on how each pickup sounds but you get a general idea on the uh, individual differences between them then finally talked about the strings and where they go uh, just a couple other little little nuances here obviously we have these little guys here these are your strap pegs for your strap I highly recommend having one because these uh, guitars are delicate and you want to be careful with them and you don't want them to fall at any time and plus it, it's just much more comfortable um, because you can't carry it around on your own uh, while you're trying to play while standing. So, anyway, this is your guitar, or this is my guitar, but this is the introduction to a guitar. <laughs> 